Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, in this video I'm going to be playing through the Spyro Reignited trilogy. Um, I think I'm going to play like one world in each video and then split it up into parts. I'm like a big Spyro fan, I played the original trilogy um, a bunch as a kid, or, like the original PlayStation 1 trilogy, and I've been playing like the first of the original trilogy um, to speedrun it actually a bunch over the past few years. So this is going to be a little weird starting off with the first one um, because I'm so used to like playing through it as quickly as possible and not paying attention to anything or listening to any of the uh, the dragons or anything. So, um, but I'm going to play it a lot more slowly and chill this time so that I can actually listen to the audio changes and see any of the other changes that have happened. Yeah, it's cool that you have like three save slots like in the original games. I don't know like. I don't know if you can add more or not, but yeah. Okay, rolling. Uh, oh, oh uh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it six? Uh, for a dragon's age, we now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Ganok character? Now, I understand he's done a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple? He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is ugly. Ugly? That does it! Love the motivational posters on the walls. <laughs> Looks like I got some things to do. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Like some of the voice actors, I think, are from the original. I think, but some aren't. So I'm not sure. Like, oh man. Oh, this is so weird. It's like, it's like really familiar, but at the same time not. Okay. Um. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world, then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about nasty Nork? I feel like the resolution is slightly wrong on this, Find but dragons first. I'm not That's gonna pause it to edit tell. it now. Oh, maybe it's just when the video is happening. Oh look, there's- oh, I forgot what her name is. Or maybe she doesn't have a name in this. I think in later games her name's Zoe, but it might just be a different fairy. Um, okay. I'm actually not used to using- I'm using the Microsoft but I'm using the Xbox for Windows controller and this is the first time I've ever used it in a game actually. Um, my friend bought me my friend bought me this, these games and the controller for Christmas. So <laughs> it's like I haven't to sort of get used to it as I play. Keep your horns on, Spyro! You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Uh... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see yeah. what I mean. I actually don't remember 100% what they all say in the original. Um, so, especially since I've been playing it as like a speedrun recently, so I haven't been listening to what the actual dialogue is. So I can't like compare it exactly. Oh god. <laughs> okay, so this is very different to playing to playing the original on the PS1 for me. Um, oh, yeah. oh god, I'm doing so badly at this already. Yeah, this opens like a- oh I got an actual achievement for that. This opens up the flight level- I don't know whether to do the flight level first. Should we do the flight level first? I'm really like- <laughs> it should be interesting because flight levels are like- often some of the more hard levels and they're not hard for me 
in the original because I've done it so many times. Um, this one isn't anyway, but like th I have a feeling this is going to be more difficult to the original game. So, um, okay, it'll go. It'll take like a little while to get the hang of the controls, I think. Right. So they've changed like the shape of the archways because they're like, and also the color of it. They're like, they're like bright green in the original. I kind of want to like play the original, play this, and like put them together side by side <laughs> to compare. But not. I don't think I'm going to do that in this video anyway. But oh, these are always really, really annoying. To be honest. Um, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not doing this well. To be honest, I'm supposed to like go going against them instead of towards them. Um, it helps if you fly in a certain... Okay. I don't think... Alright, I can already tell that this is going to take me several attempts. I might, I might actually have to come back to this level because I'm always going to be silly. Um, oh god. Okay. See, I've actually forgotten the order now, though, too. Um, there is like a, a better order to do these, to do these um, speed flight levels. Um, I like how the water actually looks like water in this game, because in the originals it's kind of like goop, but then it kind of makes sense for it to look like goop, because um, like you you drown in this game because you can't swim, so like the swimming ability is something you get in the later games, so in like the second game um, and the third game. Oh god. <laughs> you know what, if I don't do this after like three attempts, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back to this at the end and uh... No! Where is it? Yeah, do pest friggin' fly and things. Oh my god! This is definitely not the best way of doing this. This is silly. Okay. Well, I feel like I'm improving. <laughs> sort of. Oh, come on! Okay, no, this is just terrible. I know this isn't gonna work now, because I've got all those chests still to do, and there's just no way. Um... This, this is not the ideal. Oh, pee fake. Alright. I'm gonna try something different this time, maybe. I think I might just start with these. And uh, see how that goes. Is there a train behind me? I don't know. This order isn't going to go well. I don't know why I did this, this is stupid. Okay, um... Oh, I missed that one. I'm getting better at getting the... the... aircraft, at least. Sort of. I think you go faster if you go... if you fly closer to the water. I think so. I don't know if they if that's possible in this one or not. I'm still missing one of those trains. Stupid. I'm pretty sure yeah I am, I'm missing one of the trains. Oh come on! <laughs> okay. It's okay. I can get it I can get it because I have to leave anyway. I can go back and get it. This is the first time I've played through this version of the game, so <laughs> that's my defense. Oh yes, yes. Okay, okay. No. Oh right, alright, alright. All right, I got him. I got him. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. If I don't get this this time, this is gonna annoy me because I'm so close. I've got like three sets. Oh come on, come on, come on, come on. No. Oh, this, I, this is not. Hmm. <laughs> It'll be so close. 
Okay. Oh no. No, 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 no. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Don't do. Oh, that was so close. That was so close. Okay. Alright. Because you didn't just quit, right? Because you've got it and then you get the gems, I think. Is it going to do the little animation where you get all the gems in the chest? Uh, you used to. I think there was a. I think the animations changed. I feel like you used to. The gems sort of came down from above in the other game. But. Okay, so I think that's technically like. Right. Um, just looking at the artwork now. <laughs> I don't want like I'm, I'm aware that I'm like recording, and I don't want this video to be like like too long. But I'm what? Because what I'm gonna do is do a 120% run. So I do want to get all the gems. Um, so the placement of a lot of the gems is actually the same as in the original game. Like a lot of these are all in the same place. Should I just go in here now? Okay, we're gonna do Stone Hill first. Well, second, technically, because we already did the flight level. This is not the order I usually do these, these uh, worlds in. I mean, not worlds, levels. This should be interesting, because, like, there are a bunch of... There's a bunch of stuff introduced in this particular level, I believe. This is actually kind of slow to load on my PC. It's taking, like... I should remember to save in case it crashes or something, to be honest. Oh, wow. Oh, this is, su this is such a pretty looking game, actually. I really like the art. It's just, this, this is so cool. Just like, what is that? Is that like, oh, it's just the effect from where he died, right? I thought they were like, glittery flowers for a minute. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go down here because I think... Oh no, wait. No, 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 no. That was stupid. I'm gonna have to come back. I forgot you need the key. Um, with the key for that chest that you need. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna get the dragon because I'm gonna have to come back down here later anyway to get the chest. So... I can't remember if Sparks is like... I lost one earlier, but I don't know whether that comes, came back or not. Um, I want to go through here first. Yeah. Oh, th this is like one of my favourite things. I don't know how they've... It's a little different, um, the placement of stuff, but this was always like one of my favourite things, because you like, can like... Okay, that wasn't very well done. <laughs> you can like charge through um, in a circle, and I like to see how many of these I can like get in a row. I'm normally better at this, but <laughs> okay. Yeah. But, um, it's, it's a little bit more awkward in this game. That's my key. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you yeah, ever run into trouble, Spyro. The voice actor here is definitely different from the, um, you know, I'm gonna save. Because I don't know if it auto saves or not. Oh, okay, you have to talk. Hi, Spyro. Oh, right. You, mm, okay, so you used to save by, uh... Okay. I just I guess it just automatically saves. I don't know how you save in this game. You used to be able to save by talking to, um, the fairies, but... And the fairies are voice acted in this game, too. They weren't in the original game. Oh, I didn't get to see what it looks like. I don't know what they look like in this. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, they kept the return home thing. These were always kind of redundant because you could just exit the level. After you've freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex from the, uh, opening the jigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. <laughs> see ya. Yeah, um, the thing about those return home portals is that you can use them, but it's basically pointless most of the time, because you're like, when you complete the level, you're very rarely near the portal, and you can just click exit level, and it just goes back. I don't know, like, in the reboot, maybe there's like some kind of achievement or something for going in those portals to justify it, but in the original game, there was like no point to them, really. 
it was just like a little aesthetic thing. I don't know what it, she like zaps you as you go past. I don't know what the point of that is. Is it like, does that cause the game to save? I'm really wondering about how the save works now, because I don't know. It always bothers me when I'm playing a game and um, I don't know how to... Right, okay. Oh right, 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 I have to go back and get the chest. Nearly forgot. It always bothers me when I'm playing a game and I don't know how the save <laughs> thing functions because then I'm like... I just have to assume it's saving. That's it. Oh, Watch the dragonfly, Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. Sometimes the dragons are a lot more anthropomorphic looking in this game, or maybe, I don't know, it's hard to like compare though, off the top of my head, because the, uh, obviously like, they're, they're a lot more detailed in this game as well than the original. Oh, I can hear that, the egg thief guy. His voice has changed a bit. Okay. Ram. <clears throat> These are like annoying, they have like a really long reach and uh, I- oh god, <laughs> I just jumped over them. That was not the plan. Um, yeah, those shepherds are annoying because they like whack you with their stick and they have quite like a long range to do it from, so. Some gems here. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm going to be even worse playing through the second and third game um, because it's been, I think that's all the gems down here. It's been even longer since I've played those games, so it will be interesting. Um, I keep wanting to like skip past it, but I'm trying to listen to them all. Oh, it's got a paintbrush! That's awesome. You bet! For the longest glide, press the jump button at the top of your jump, and try pressing the action button to Seems drop like down kind of with eyes, I guess, in this game. I can't remember what his aesthetic was like in the original, but none of them had, like, paintbrushes or anything. Okay. Hi, oh, you can, you can replay the dragons, though. You used to be able to do that in the original as well. Okay. Oh, man. There's some, le there's some worlds... There's some levels in this game that are going to be very interesting to do, um, to like play through I think, like some of the, some of the more difficult ones, because I can already tell that this game is a little, oh, I love the textures, I just kind of want to stop and look at stuff, but, <laughs> I get that a lot when I'm playing games, I just go off on random detours to like, stare at the scenery, which is, um, probably not that interesting though, if you're watching. So, I want to know if- Ah, oh, cool! Yeah, I wish used to do that, like, in the original game. Oh, did they actually flash? Oh, that's awesome. Because they were like, there's some kind of force field there. Um, which is in, like, to stop you running off the, the map, really. Um, but I just, I found that amusing in the original game, because there's not really any particular explanation, it's just like, nope, you're not going any further, and then it's like really obvious too, it's not just like bumping, there's like a, a ripple effect when you bump into it. Okay. These can be... Gonna just get a little bit of a... I think I might actually... I don't know. It might it might be easier to just get it and charge. I don't know. All right, I got that wasn't too hard actually. So, right, how much? I'm missing five gems. And um, oh, there's one chest. So that's two. And then there's three somewhere. Now, what happens? It will be interesting to see if these are the same ones I often miss. Um, playing the original game, because there's always like three on a hill somewhere, oh yeah, 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 there they are, okay, that's not too bad. <laughs> it's funny, it's like, it's 
different, but I'm like, I'm still sort of like, um, like, the same gems are like the ones that I end up losing, so it's funny. I should use the return home this time. I don't know whether I should try using the return home in every world, just so that I can, um, see if there's some achievement for that. I don't know if I'm going to or not. I'll just see how... Uh... Oh, you know what I really want to do? Oh wait, there's some gems over here, so I'll get them. I'll get these guys too. Um... I'll get him later. Okay, that wasn't- oh, can you do- you can blame them like in the original. Ah, oh, and then they- does Spider-Man do anything? No. Okay. Feel kind of sad, actually. <laughs> Flower's just kind of like, wilting now. It looks all like- oh, does it come back? Oh, it does. The flowers are super-powered, and you can't charge them either. I think in at least one of the games you can charge them and then they disappear. Like the portal texture is um updated as well. So it's cool. It's like this little head. I wanna like see what this looks like without uh, it goes in it goes like fire a week bit too quickly. I don't know what they're supposed to be. Like they're they're way too tiny to be baby dragons really. Like they look like little dragon figurines or something. Because I always kind of assumed that they would be baby dragons, but really like why would they be that small? But I don't know. I mean unless dragons grow a lot throughout their life, which is possible I guess. This is like this is this is a really iconic level. I really like this one. Um so it'll be interesting to see how it's changed and stuff. It also has a really great it has a great soundtrack. I think you can change the music between the original and the um Yeah, you can. So I kind of want to compare them in a few worlds. Um I don't know if that actually worked or not. Did it? Yeah. What does dynamic music mean? I don't know. I don't want to spend too long messing around with the things. Um. The grass is like really bright green in this game. I think it's not. Oh cool, they've got like a little bookcase. You've got candles. Oh that's nice. I like how you've got like all these little candles everywhere. That's gonna need a key. I know where the key is. Still, I'm, I'm still playing through it a little bit quickly. Um, some part. <laughs> I like forget that I'm not speed running it. I love how all these books. I don't remember if these books are here in the original. Maybe they are, but they're just like a flat texture. Um, I can't actually remember. But oh, okay. I'll we'll have to wait a minute. Nope. The thing about these guys is you cannot. Oh. I guess I did here. You can't charge them because they're too big. They just like bounce you off. And you can't flame them from the front. So they don't actually do any damage to you though, I don't think. Spyro, wanna know a secret? Use the action button when you wanna zoom in and look around. Oh, your secret's safe with me. And yeah, the key model's changed a bit as well. It looks like more... Oh god, more names. Yeah, cool. Oh! That would have been annoying if I missed that gem. Hope I didn't miss any others. Because like, when you whisk... When you miss like one random gem and you have to like search the entire level for the gem that you've missed, it's really, really annoying. Okay, I didn't really mean to do that. I'm gonna go up there first. Um, oh, and get this treasure chest too. Oh, yeah, I need to feed sparks. Do that in a minute. 
Okay. So let's see, I did that in the original game too. Sometimes when um, like a chest or something is exploding, it like the remnants of it look kind of like a gem, so I end up like trying to get it, but then realise no, that's not a gem. That's just part of the animation. <laughs> the put on like metal chest. Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Their he sounds really familiar. Fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. I don't know what... I've heard, I feel like I've heard this voice actor before. It like reminds me of... Um, Hi, Spyro. Something, but I don't know... I don't know, like, something else I've seen. It's probably, it's probably not the same voice actor, it's probably a coincidence. Um... I should have, like, looked up the voice actors that are in this first before playing, and then I could, like... Let's see. Uh... Oh. I don't know if... This never... I don't know, do you, do you get an achievement now? You do, you get an achievement now! Oh, that's awesome. You get an achievement on Steam. Um, in the original game, you could light those, and it made no sense. It just did nothing. Like, I don't know if maybe it, it did something originally, and then they removed it from the game. Um, but, yeah, it, it didn't do anything in the game, but you could still light them, so I always did that, but it, like, there was nothing. I know in like either the second or the third game they started to have like special sort of achievements that you could get, like the original third game. You could get like special butterflies and there was like a little guidebook for the stuff. Um, okay, it was worth a try. <laughs> Not gonna spend it. I don't know if it's possible in this game. I know you can fly up there in the original three if you get like the right glide angle, but I actually don't know if it's possible in this game. I'm actually missing Jim. Oh, right, right. There's, there is still some guys to kill. So hopefully, this will be all the jam around the return home thing. Big enemies like this north with the clock cannot be charged. I love how they've all got their own little personality in this game. Okay. Actually, tells you when you found all the dragons. That's helpful. Okay, so that's all of those. I feel like I'm gonna miss something at some point and have to go back. But I mean, this is a weird number of gems. But oh wait, no, it's because um I have like a bunch to get in this level. Because it should be like a fairly round number, I think, when I've got them all. Um, I'll save that for later because we have to still. This is actually this is interesting because this dragon voice actor like dialogue has changed a few times. Like I remember playing the demo of the original PS1 game and it was different. Hey Spyro, press the jump button twice to go on. And and don't be afraid. Afraid of what? Falling from high mountain peaks? Plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. Yeah, so that's the that's the same audio as in the original game, but there's like a demo version of the original PlayStation game that came out and it was on like a bunch of like demo discs, um, demo disc compilations of different demos from PlayStation games. And um, in the one I played, he actually had like a longer, I can't remember what he said, but he said something else in addition to that stuff, and then they cut it out in the final game. Like, they had him sort of like trail off, I think, and Spyro interrupt him, but then they changed it in the uh, actual final release game. <laughs> like, random trivia that nobody needed to know. <coughs> there are a bunch of other changes as well, like the fountains were actually all green, um, but in the other game, they were only green in the in one of the other worlds. Not this one, but there's another world um, later in the game. Uh, and that world, there's no gems there, is there? 
think that's all of the ones down here. Yeah, in in the in another world they have like green fountains, so it'll be interesting to know if they still have that or not. I think I'm gonna get these now, and then um, yeah, there's a lot of like interesting things that I'm wondering. Well, they're like sort of bugs and stuff that you can exploit. I don't know if they're in this version though. I assume not. Like you can actually fly using it there's a way to fly over there and into toast into like that level over there in the original game which people use for speed runs but um i've never managed to do it though <laughs> but there is a way i've seen people do and uh i don't know whether any of these things are possible in this version but it would be interesting to know i'm not gonna mess around with it now because i haven't even managed to do it in the original but yeah I might look later and see if people have been speedrunning this. I assume they have, but yeah. It will be interesting to see how like the times compare. Um, the people can... Like, what, re what records people have managed to get to. To Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the right stick to get a good look. Yeah, I think. Can you charge them? Yeah, you have to actually flame them. Or, um, well, I think they still disappear, but they just like sort of stay there forever, like or like a certain amount of time if you don't if you don't flame them. I'm not actually sure, like how long they stay, but... Oh, it's the first one of these. Yeah. Okay, I feel like they're easier to get in this game than they are in the other game. I usually miss the first time I do it, something like, with at least a few of them. Thanks, Spyro. <laughs> I had the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing the jump button at the very top of your jump? You know what, I'm gonna... What I think I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna like charge one of them and then see what happens if, um, when I come back to it later. Like, let's just try with this one and see what happens. I can't remember though, it's kind of mean because it's like they're just sort of stuck there in the ground. Hmm. Spyro, some kind did of you see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief and he's stolen a dragon egg! You've got to track him down and, and get that egg! Run! Run! <laughs> I'm getting a little windy. You know, thinking about it though, in this game the dragon eggs are really small, so it's possible that those tiny ship dragons in the chest are actually babies, which is kind of morbid. Um, because there are no babies in this game and also all the dragons are male. That's not... Ex I don't know whether that's explained. I feel like there might be some lore in the second or third game that touches on this, but I can't really remember. Um, I know there are eggs in the third game, and the eggs are a lot bigger than the ones in this game, and that's just never explained. <laughs> okay, now I need to get him quickly, because otherwise he runs off the side of the cliff, and that's really, really annoying. No! Oh, that was close. <laughs> okay. He like runs off and then you have to go all the way back round again and it's just a pain, so... I'm hoping that's all of them because- oh, that was close. Okay, I just want to be far ahead because I don't want to come back ideally. Um, right. So that's all the gems here. Am I going to fall off now? Cursed myself, okay. For Pete's sake! Uh, 
Okay, that was just... I'm not, I'm not, like, the gliding in this game is a little different. Like... Right. I want to look at that barn. It's like a bonsai barn or something. That's pretty cool. I like how there's, like, falling leaves and stuff as well. Like, I don't... I don't think there were in the original game. They definitely had animated falling leaves in, um... The second game. Oh my days. <laughs> I was doing so well. Oh my. Like... I was gonna say man then, but I just said my and it came out weirdly. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I think they might just stay stuck in the ground forever. Okay. Please don't let me... Okay, there we go. Oh right, yeah, you have to do... Uh... I actually forgot what that was because they changed the, the style of it, the, the mesh so much from the original Thank game. You for releasing the Spyro. You can always track your progress by accessing the guidebook in the pause menu. His name is Thor, and I feel like he should have some kind of like, you know, like, thunder reference or something because his name is Thor, but he doesn't. I guess I should put these guys out of the misery. Okay, I think I've got everything now in this level. So now we have to do the boss level. I got him right. I'm pretty sure I did. You know what, we'll just assume I did. And then uh I think our camera's changed angle, so I'm really low down at the moment. So that's all of those. I <laughs> should be able to open this now. I think if you get him too early, then he tells you to do some levels no, before coming back. Do that again. The artisan's boss is through a portal behind <laughs> What? Me. You can challenge him now. If oh, I love the glasses. This guy's funky. Why is he casting a watermelon? Like, what is the significance of the watermelon? Some of these dragons are just really random. Like, I like how they all have their own little kind of style now, though. Because in the original, they all... I mean, they, they had different colours and stuff, but they didn't have any... Um, random things they were holding or whatever. But yeah, that's great. It's just like holding a watermelon. So I guess that's what he was doing when he got frozen. Eating watermelon. Oh right, the, the dogs in this level are like a, a real, like, they're annoying. <laughs> you have to flame them twice, I believe. And then they flatten you like that. <laughs> if you don't. I don't know if their placement's gonna be the same. There's there's like one that's in this really sneaky place that's kind of like quite annoying in the in the original. I'm not I'm not off to a great start. I've already lost two of the um, sparks of colours. Okay. It's hard to angle this. Oh, for Pete's sake! You have to get a lot closer in this game. Okay. My technique for doing this is has to be like, oh no. It's a little different in the... They've got like paintings. Oh, I know where that is. That's the beginning of the next world, actually. That's cool. Or I think it is. Yeah, I think it is, I think it is. And then this is, I guess, the castle in the... These are all, like, different parts of the... Oh, wow! That is actually Autumn Plains in the uh, next game. 
So, I don't remember that one. Actually, that's just Sunny Flight, right? That's just the flight level, I think. So that's cool. These are actually like... What, what's that one? No, that's the same one as the other one. And then you've got some dragons here. <laughs> Dare I get the painting? Okay, I think these are all dragons. Um... Right, so there is like a... There's a sheep dock here, I believe. Yep, he's still there. Okay. I assume I'm going to die at some point because I, I this level has no replacement. Um, it has no butterflies, I don't think. <clears throat> so, oh shoot! Well, that'll definitely kill me if I do that. Look at the lava. The lava looks um different, I think. Another artist. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on! I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. Toasty has many tricks up his sleeve. <laughs> Small dragons found. There's only one in this world though, so that's not hard. <laughs> oh! The pumpkin guy. I believe that... I don't, I don't know what he is in this game, but in the original game... Sheep? <clears throat> oh, he's still a sheep. I thought they might have changed that. Oh god, where's he gone? <laughs> oh really? I thought there was like three rounds in this, but maybe I'm misremembering. I thought, like, normally I think you have to get three of them, but I don't know. Okay. I guess not. That's all of them. Very close to completing this world now. Am I? I want to do like one world every video, but I could probably have done two worlds in like a single video and it would still not be too long, but I don't know. Okay. I'm missing something. Right, there's three gems I missed. Oh! No, that's not it. I'm missing three gems somewhere, so I'm gonna have to find them. There's one. <clears throat> we'll get some start with that. Okay, so I assume there's a two gem somewhere. I'm gonna have to like find that. I'm sure I got all these guys. I thought this was going to end soon, but I've still got to find... Where could it be? <clears throat> well, I know it's not. Can you charge these? No, they will not disappear. Okay. Oh, come back, you! Ah, oh, there they are! Okay. So I think that's all of the gems in this world. Oh yeah, 100% level complete. Oh no way, that just means this level. But I think it's, I think I've got everything in the world as well. So, huh, love it. The balloonist uh, looks more or less the same actually. Wow, I see you've been busy rescuing Oh, he has a voice now. Not everything was voice acted in the original, the dragons were, but the fairies weren't, and neither were the balloonists as far as I remember. They had like no voice actor, which made them more mysterious, but... You may travel to the peacekeeper's world if you like. Are you ready to go? Okay, so I'm gonna stop the video here and then continue on in the next video. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.